JFK International Airport, a bustling hub of global connectivity and a vital gateway to New York City, has long served as a symbol of American innovation and international travel. Established in 1948, JFK has witnessed the evolution of aviation, catering to the ever-increasing demand for global mobility. Today, JFK stands as one of the world's busiest airports, handling over 60 million passengers annually. However, JFK's aging infrastructure, fragmented terminal layout, and limited capacity have resulted in congestion, delays, and a subpar passenger experience. These challenges have become increasingly more evident as passenger traffic continues to grow, threatening JFK's ability to fulfill its role as a world-class airport. In response to these challenges, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey have embarked on a transformative $19 billion redevelopment program called A New JFK. This ambitious project aims to modernize JFK, enhance its capacity, and establish it as a world-class destination for travelers from around the globe. The A New JFK expansion program encompasses a comprehensive set of initiatives, including the construction of new terminals, the renovation of existing facilities, and the enhancement of infrastructure. With a focus on sustainability, technology, and passenger experience, the project aims to redefine JFK as a gateway that reflects New York City's global stature. So JFK's existing infrastructure, dating back to the 1940s and 1950s, poses a significant challenge to the expansion project. The existing terminals, designed for an era of air travel that is far gone, are ill-equipped to handle the demands of modern aviation. Over time, the wear and tear of constant use have taken a serious toll on the facilities existing. This has led to structural deficiencies, outdated systems, and inefficient operations. JFK's fragmented terminal layout, with eight terminals scattered across the vast airfield, has long been a source of frustration for passengers. The current layout requires lengthy transit times between terminals, often requiring passengers to endure long walks, shuttle bus rides, or additional security screenings. The fragmented layout also limits the airport's total capacity, hindering its ability to accommodate the increasing volume of passengers and aircraft. Perhaps the shining beacon for this entire project and what's probably going to be most famous about it is the NTO, or New Terminal 1. We'll cover it more here in a minute, but it's basically just the central hub that connects everything together. To address some of the underlying issues with congestion and delays, engineers have turned to technology. And you might be asking yourself at this point, how is technology going to help here? Well, one example of technology-driven solutions is the implementation of biometric passenger identification. Facial recognition and iris scanning technologies will be used to expedite check-in, boarding, and security screening processes, reducing wait times and improving passenger convenience. Some people may view this as overstepping and kind of an invasion of privacy, but if implemented, you can imagine how much faster this would make the lines move. Now let's look at some of the most important changes and additions brought about by this mega project. The previously mentioned new Terminal 1 is the centerpiece of the JFK expansion project. It stands as a testament to the project's commitment to engineering excellence and technological innovation. This 2.4 million square foot international terminal is designed to accommodate over 23 million passengers annually. And if you can't really visualize how big 2.4 million square feet is, you could just imagine it as 500 basketball courts put together. New Terminal 1's design defies conventional airport terminal architecture, opting for a spacious open air concept that maximizes natural light and fosters a sense of connection to the surrounding landscape. The existing Terminal 4, which is the primary international travel terminal, is going to undergo a crazy renovation. It was originally constructed in 1998, but it's fallen behind the times in terms of what aircraft it can accommodate. The gates will be able to accommodate much larger planes. And if we're talking about international travel here, it is very important to have all of the gates optimized so that they can fit whatever plane they need to, however big or however small. Especially as more modern aircraft are built encompassing a different footprint, which would basically just allow JFK to adjust based on the aircraft. It may not seem like much, but for Terminal 4, it is extremely important long term. And perhaps to cement the legacy even further about international travel, Terminal 6 is being created solely for international air travel. It'll be a 1.2 million square foot terminal, and it'll be able to accommodate about 10 million people annually. This terminal not only looks futuristic, but it's pushing the limits of sustainability within airports through several eco-friendly ideas. And last but not least, we have one more terminal. This one not focused as much on international travel. It is American Airlines Terminal 8. Because I've already went over so many features in previous terminals, let's just say this one is on par with the rest. So with these four major addition renovations that I've covered, this will foster about 30 to 40 million additional people traveling through JFK annually. As we move away from the terminals and into the infrastructure side, we see that the major improvement here is the Consolidated Ground Transportation Center, which will serve as a central hub for all ground transportation options at JFK, eliminating the need for multiple connections and reducing congestion. This state-of-the-art facility, spanning an additional 1.3 million square feet, will accommodate buses, taxis, rental cars, ride-sharing services, and public transportation, providing passengers with a seamless 
seamless and efficient connection to the airport. Another huge infrastructure change here is the roadway reconfiguration. This will be one of the most notable changes for those who travel to the airport by car. This expansion project involves a comprehensive overall of the airport's roadway system designed to optimize traffic flow, reduce congestion, and improve overall connectivity. Now, okay, we have an idea of what the project looks like. What kind of effect is this going to have on New York City? The project is estimated to create over 12,000 jobs in construction, engineering, and related trades. Once the new terminals and infrastructure are operational, an additional 8,000 permanent jobs will be created in areas such as airport operations, customer service, retail, and hospitality. The project is estimated to generate $17 billion back to the area over the next decade. This includes direct spending on construction materials, labor and services, as well as indirect and induced economic activity from increased tourism, business travel, and supply chain demand. Also, according to a major study I've seen online, this project would indirectly produce 30,000 different jobs. And looking directly at the tourism revenue from this project, it's expected that the return will be about $2.6 billion per year. So naturally, with all these numbers being thrown around, we ask, how much is this project actually going to be? With all of those changes I talked about today, it's expected to be about $19 billion, but it's likely going to overrun given that it's happening years in the future. Specifically looking at which parts of the project cost the most, we see that new Terminal 1 costs an estimated $9.5 billion, Terminal 4 costs $1.5 billion, Terminal 6 will cost $4.2 billion, Terminal 8 will be $1 billion, and the infrastructure improvements will be $2.8 billion. While these changes are very exciting, we have to take a step back and realize that this project won't be finished until the year 2030. But the funding is there and the data backs this up, so this project most likely is going to happen. See, the JFK expansion project is a transformative endeavor that will not only modernize the airport's existing infrastructure, but it will also create substantial benefits to the region's economy. These changes will undoubtedly serve as a catalyst that make JFK a world-class airport. So what do you think? After hearing all that, are you skeptical about the project actually getting completed the way it's said, or are you excited for the potential benefits that it's going to serve for the region and ultimately the country? With all that being said, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you're able to get some good information, I would appreciate if you hit the like or subscribe button. Doing either of those helps me out so much, and I will see you next time.